Well, good evening, all those of you tuning in this week. Thank you for tuning in for another message. It's uh, getting very close to Holy Week, and uh, in many ways, that seems a, a great relief. I'm not sure whether today is actually the equinox. Um, it, I think it must be around now. Anyway, the 21st of March, it's usually either today or a day either side of it. And of course, it's been a leap year. But anyway, um, seemingly the sun is crossing the equator about now. Uh, so that should be giving us a little bit of a, a good heart at the prospect that perhaps we're going to get uh, some slightly warmer weather uh, and perhaps a bit more sunshine to, to get everything uh, coming and, and blossoming and flowering. That will be wonderful. Uh, in the meantime, can I have a little moan? Uh, I must confess, uh, I, I wonder constantly at the amazing developments in all the technology around us, but sometimes it gets utterly frustrating, doesn't it? This iPad that I'm using uh, is now telling me that it's overloaded, so when I record these messages, they don't seem to be playing back. However, I do seem to be able to upload them onto YouTube so that you can share in them. And one of our expert technicians in the parish is going to come over the weekend and try and help me out on this one. Uh, and then on top of that, I noticed the iPad hasn't been uh, keeping my emails uh, going recently, I suppose because I haven't checked them on it. I usually use the computer in the office. Uh, and then of course it demands all kinds of new codes to be sent to uh, phones and heaven knows what, and then it still uh, won't accept me as, as a bona fide. Um, and the same sort of thing happens these days, too, with the banks, doesn't it? You, I'm a trustee for the redemptorists and have been for quite a long time, so uh, I would have thought they'd got my signature by now, but they suddenly pick you out at random, and then you have to go and prove who you are. So you go down to the bank with your um, passport and your driving license in the hope that then they say, oh, no, we can't do it at this bank. And I just find it all a little bit frustrating. I know uh, that we need to be making sure that um, there's no not too much fraud going on and all the rest of it, but it does seem to be a bit demanding. And for those of us who are getting on a bit in years, uh, a little bit frustrating. So I've had my say, forgive me, and I'm sure there are a few of you out there who uh, will be sympathizing. But let's get on to, to better things. You've probably gathered that in the last few weeks I've been a bit demanding. Um, at the moment, uh, we seem to have come into slightly calmer waters, so I'm feeling um, a little less under pressure. And I am looking forward to Holy Week. Of course, one of the challenges for the priest in Holy Week is that you're so caught up with the ceremonies, hoping that they go well and so on, um, that it's sometimes difficult to actually fully take part in them, to listen to the readings, to absorb the readings, um, to pray through the ceremonies. Uh, I've made a little resolution this year that I really am going to try um, and enter into the spirit of Holy Week, uh, as I always hope to and as I always try to, but perhaps uh, just easing back a little bit and allowing the liturgy to flow through me and, and to recognize, uh, as we always need to, that uh, whatever we're doing, whether we're uh, proclaiming the gospel or whether we're receiving that proclamation, that it's all the work of the Lord. The Lord is there. He is the one who's making himself present, uniting us as his community. And I suppose it came home to me very forcefully uh, last weekend when I was just talking about the special events that we have in the two parishes at this time. The uh, anointing masses last Saturday here at Bishop Eden, beautiful mass, um, well attended. Thank you to the SVP. I know it'll be the same at St. Mary's on Saturday morning at midday. Um, and then the reconciliation services, the two in Bishop Eaton here last Monday, and the two we're having today at St. Mary's. Um, and what struck me when I was talking about them last weekend, just mentioning them at all the masses, just reminding people, that these are the great sacraments in which the Lord wants us to experience that peace which he said only he can give us. And I, I really did, as those of you who are able to come to the ceremonies know, I really did try and reduce it to the simplest possible format so that the word of God could speak to us um, and we would allow the Lord to take possession of us, to heal the hurt, to forgive us our sins, um, to bless and strengthen us. And the, the passage that came to mind is one of my favourite passages. And I thought, well, really, as we prepare for Holy Week, and let's pray that it will be a blessed week for all of us, um, I thought I'd just share this passage with all of you. Um, and it's that passage at the beginning of the last chapter of St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. Um, it's always touched my heart, uh, but I went back to it and I thought, well, here is a perfect examination of conscience. We don't need to go through a great list of things Let's just reflect on what St. Paul says. So here we go. 
I want you to be happy, always happy in the Lord. I repeat, what I want is your happiness. Let your tolerance be evident to everyone. The Lord is very near. There is no need to worry. But if there is anything you need, pray for it. Asking God for it with prayer and thanksgiving and that peace of God, which is so much greater than we can understand, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, fill your minds with everything that is true, everything that is noble, everything that is good and pure, everything that we love and honour, and everything that can be thought virtuous or worthy of praise. Keep doing all the things that you learnt from me and have been taught by me and have heard or seen that I do. Then the God of peace will be with you. Isn't that just wonderfully reassuring? Let's pray that we will experience the peace of the Lord this Holy Week and be ready to celebrate with great joy the Easter celebration the following weekend. So there we are. I'd ask you to pray for those who are being baptised and received into the church this year in our two parishes and indeed uh, among perhaps your friends uh, and relatives. And let's also pray for all those who've asked our prayers and are in special need of our prayers. I do try to keep our um, our diaries up to date. Uh, the, the, the one that's in use at the moment is this one here. Um, and of course we did have a particularly sad death, a rather tragic death last week, so I would ask you to pray for Paul Anthony Chase Malone um, and pray for Tina, his wife, and Little Flame, his daughter, who's in our primary school at Much Walton. Um, as a parish community, our hearts go out to them, and we will, of course, uh, make sure that we celebrate uh, Paul's funeral, uh, entrusting him lovingly to the Lord. The Lord can redeem everything. I keep reminding myself and you of that, um, and we keep uh, needing to look after one another, comfort one another, St. Paul tells us uh, in that famous passage to the Thessalonians. So let's comfort one another, let's support one another, let's continue to pray for all those people who've asked our prayers and are in special need of our prayers, both those who are close to us and those who are far away but we hear about and we, our hearts are distressed about, as you know, across the world. There are all these trouble spots now we think of, uh, including those that we constantly think about in the last couple of years, uh, at least in the last year, a couple of years in Ukraine, and then um, more recently uh, in Gaza, but now we hear about Sudan and Haiti. Uh, we pray for all these people, and I'd like you to pray too for our Redemptorist confreres in all these places, that the Lord will bless and strengthen them. So let's pray, as we always do, that the Lord will fill our homes with his peace that our Blessed Lady, our Mother of Perpetual Succor, will join us in our prayer, and that we will have that great sense of being united with the whole Christian family all over the world, and indeed, of course, with Our Lady and the Saints in Heaven. May the Lord bless and protect you today, and bless your Holy Week. Amen.